Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure. This is Ryu in the Cave of No Return. Open. Okay, this is aggravating. And you know, it's just easier to sort of zone. And we get a lantern, or a lamp. So we got a dark place now, yay. Two of you should always have lamps if you're on single. Now if you notice, breaking uh, both pots gets you 20 force gems. Try to do that throughout the area. It's not necessary, but it... And that's how you do that, motherfucker! Yeah. Alright, but you notice that my hearts have reset back to zero, or to four, basically. And my force, I don't have the force sword anymore. Uh, unfortunately, this happens every game. Come on, come here. Uh, these. No. Uh, what I think you should do is prioritize one person getting force gems at all times. Uh, because you can't clear the chapter otherwise, so. It's not too detrimental if you guys are just playing for fun and shit, but. Also, yeah, forward uh, R rules, if I didn't explain that during the other things. And we get a key. Now we gotta carry it all the way. Also, if I didn't mention you could attack with the key, you can attack with the key. You can attack with anything that you hold over your head. Alright, get another person on the lamp if you don't have it already. Oh. Yeah, I gotta do it the I was hoping to cheat a little bit. Oh, you can't move it again, huh? I thought you could. Let's see, I want to... No. I mean, I might as well. Uh, down. I mean, it's kind of hard to... Oh, can we crush him? Oh my god, that worked! We crushed him like a fucking... That's horrifying. I can't get those five now, but oh well. Completely worth it. Get another key. I have no idea how much the the other attack damage is. I assume it's one. Okay, this is aggravating. Basically, you gotta split up your links to hit each one of these blocks. And the reason why you want to do it. Yeah, like that is because sometimes you get stuck and you can't move forward. Now what happens if I try to make blue? Open oh, this. Oh shit, you can. Okay, well I want to go and, and push all the blocks anyways. Whoops. Just because. Uh, let's see. I want this one this way. I don't know if this is too loud, by the way. Um, it's what I usually put. Oh, you have to do it the other way. I'm pretty sure if you push all of the blocks, you get something for it. So. Yeah, yeah, more force gems. I also need green up there. There's another point where co-op, like, you're kind of dependent on your allies. Oh, was that that? No, that was that. I had to do that. It's the only way you can be pushed. Let's do this one down. And then call red. I keep mistaking where he is. Uh, what? Is it down? Oh, I don't know, because I moved that one. Shit. Might have fucked that up. No, it's 
Also, there's a good way to scout the area is to leave uh, leave links around with a lantern, and that way each one of their lanterns will shine a light. Okay, so that takes care of that. We get 200 force gems. Let's uh, move these two. Oh yeah, no, I got the other way. And that's why that's there. Okay, so now let's get to Link. All right, red, blue, purple, and then green. Your third, your fourth person can now get another lantern. Okay, let's see. It's a big area. God damn it. Yeah, going through that hole, uh, or basically what you can assume amounts to that hole, is you get sent down there. Now, if you see these little icons here, I don't know if you can see that. Well, I think you can. Basically, you can uh, see wh where the traps are. Okay. I think I, yeah, I wanted to go down here for this one, which is a heart container. There's one more I want to go down, obviously, but... And that is... God damn it. You can't kill those bubbles without the boomerang, but... I can't believe that just happened. I mean, I can, I just... I wish it didn't. Take care of these guys first, because I want to keep my active chain going. Ten! And there we go. Okay, so this one will get you over here with another hundred force gems. That's really the only reason to fall down, is the second one and the third one. But here's the locations of them, in case you're wondering. There's no other, uh, holes, so don't worry about that. Huh. I don't know why that was a thing. Yeah, so what you gotta do is you gotta pick up your friend, toss him over. And there you go. Okay, but before getting the bow, because we need it, but we don't need it yet. Uh, just, okay, Dan's not a path. but God does that make it angry. there's the chest another four spring I'm not gonna lie without the blue bracelet that would be pretty hard to accomplish all right and that's everything and now we can get out of here but yeah I didn't remember where the trigger was, so I had to run through the whole room, but it's not that bad. It's definitely worth the heart container. Now, if you had a friend in two-player, you could have him pick up the bow. Okay, yeah, we do need the bow now. I didn't know that that platform reset, so... Yay, we have the bow! Okay, so the bow... Uh, well, it's easiest to show off in this room, obviously, but... Uh, 
Get a really wide area of the room. God damn it. <laughs> Did I really just do that? It's okay, I don't lose hearts if I'm not controlling him. There we go. Okay, so. The bow. Take out multiple enemies at once. At least the charge shot, anyways. Makes this area a lot easier. Yes. And we got 2,000. You also notice that I didn't get all the potential hearts that I could have. in the last chapter, and that is because I do not know where any of the rest of them are. Now, by the way, sorry, I just did it. There we go. Hitting back forward really quickly ends in the jump attack. I'm not sure if there's a concise way of doing it, but that's how I've been doing it, so. Yeah. This is stupid. Anyway, over here... Well, you'll be hearing that sound a lot. Either way, you have to go left or right. So, you notice that those pots I just destroyed are gone. Yeah, so that wasn't the right way. Let's go right. Get some uh, force gems. Uh, let's go left this time. And some more force gems. And let's go right again. Okay, there's really nothing else to it. It's just right, left, right. Boy, he is cheerful. Alright, so he said... Or right, let's just... One person isn't strong enough to pull it. Four people are, though. Yeah, that's pretty much all the puzzles in the game, but... And we got the right one, so... We get another heart container! That's... Seven hearts now. That desync is really throwing me off. Okay, now we got a kind of pseudo boss battle with Shadow Link. Come on. Okay, so. So that's Shadow Link's thing. He'll switch tunic. I thought he was going to change. I'm surprised he didn't, honestly. And uh, you have to hit it with the appropriate color tunic of your party. So just switch in between them and you'll be fine. It's pretty easy. See, I don't know why that's common sense, but okay. Dude, really, that sound is really loud. I don't know if I should keep the volume that high, but... Anywho, uh, that's the area. You know what, let me just prepare. Okay, come on. That's four. Damn it, I missed one. Fuck. Oh my god. It's probably purple. Oh well. Alright, the mysterious cave is gone! And yes for now. Okay, so, we just finished Cave of No Return, now we have to go to Hyrule Castle. We finally made it back from where we started! 
But that's all for this edition of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure. This has been Ryu, signing out.